Hello friends, welcome back to Inktober. Today is day 19, yes. <laughs> and the prompt is Ganymede. And I'm really pleased with how this one turned out. So I hope you guys enjoy the process and the finished result. I think this one might be my favorite one yet. Uh, I don't want to speak too soon, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased with how this one turned out. It was, uh, Again, th there's always a certain level of risk involved with doing one of these, and um, especially when you're working traditionally, and you know you've got an idea in your head about how it's going to look and kind of a concept behind it, and you just hope that it turns out. And th there have been varied results in in this Inktober, uh, but I really liked the sort of softness of this one. You might be wondering, who is this Ganymede fella? And Ganymede was a prince of Troy, at least at the sort of beginning of his mythology story. And one day the cupbearer to the gods, Hebe, spilled the, the nectar or the ambrosia all over the place. And Zeus got a bit cross and decided that they needed a replacement. So Zeus being Zeus, looked to the model world and wondered, hmm, who can I abduct to be my cup bearer? And of course he spotted the unsuspecting Ganymede who was, and here we are back to, you know, if we were playing a drinking game about Greek mythology, then, you know, if you took a drink every time somebody is more beautiful than the gods or the most beautiful human on the planet you know you, you you would be very drunk very quickly because this is a slightly over ridiculous thing that happens in mythology but anyway Ganymede is the most beautiful of them all the fairest of them all and Zeus is besotted so he does what he often does, which is turn himself into some sort of bird to go and abduct a, a mortal. He does it a lot in mythology, it's quite, it's quite disturbing. Um, but anyway, he turns himself into an eagle, which is um, why I've chosen the imagery that I do in this piece, uh, which you'll see shortly. And he goes and abducts Ganymede and um, yeah, takes him back to Olympus, gives him immortality, and yeah, he becomes the the consort to Zeus and uh, the cup bearer to the gods. Now, there's very little in this myth about what Ganymede thinks about all of this. It's pretty much just from the gods' perspective, uh, which is fairly fairly typical. Um, you would get the impression, I think, from most of the stories that Ganymede isn't particularly unhappy about this but you know uh, it's, it's a bit iffy on the consent side of things let's let's put it that way um, yeah but yeah as we know Greek mythology is pretty much full of rape and abduction so it's not unusual in in these stories um, but that doesn't make it any better um, anyway so when I was deciding how to depict Ganymede. For, for one thing, I wanted to make him very beautiful and kind of otherworldly looking, I guess. Um, so I decided to keep his hair white, uh, even though he's obviously very young. You know, he's supposed to be a, a youth, a Trojan prince. And um, yeah, I just liked the way the, the white looked. I wanted to do white hair on one of the the gods at least and uh, all goddesses and this one worked pretty well and yeah as you can see i decided to go for stars in the background and the these feathers to represent uh, zeus and the um the eagle uh, i know they're probably not anything like eagle feathers I'm aware, uh, let's call it artistic license and leave it at that. <laughs> but I wanted to give it a sense of depth as well. So in behind, I put all these little sort of soft feathers. And then in the foreground here, and I had actually planned to do this having, having these 
feathers in the foreground but it also worked out quite nicely because I could get rid of a few of those uh, marks and smudges that I had not done intentionally uh, yeah so this is the first time I think on all of them that I've used silver which may have been a bit of an oversight oh no that's right I, I used a little bit of silver on yesterday's one on Orpheus and Eurydice but it's very subtle and there's more gold than there is silver so yeah in this case I, I wanted quite quite a warm feeling for Ganymede himself but the rest of it to feel quite cool and and sort of I think plaintive is the, the word I wanted to evoke from this um, you know it, it certainly got a sort of melancholy for it I, I want I, uh, I wanted to give him uh, a little bit if, if not agency then you know some expression some um, opinion or or feeling within this and that that happened to be that th this kind of I, I was imagining a longing for home basically that he's looking you know not not distressed not distraught but just sort of melancholy so that's that's what I went for with this I'm really pleased with how his face turned out for one thing he looks really pretty that's that's quite helpful and I used this brown ink which is a Winsor and Newton nut brown and it's got a little bit of shellac in it so it is another one that sort of sits on top of the paper a little bit and yeah I think it gave it a really nice effect it's not as harsh as using black outlines and I wanted to keep that softness to his face and especially as his hair is white I didn't want to use anything too heavy that was going to make his hair feel too um, too sort of structured so I liked the the use of the brown again it gives it a slightly warmer feel as well and it, this is really nice ink to use with the dip pen as well so that's Ganymede as I said I think this one might be my favorite yet I just love the the feeling of it the softness and I think it it is really beautiful um, which is what I was going for so hooray Thank you very much for watching folks, that was Ganymede and tomorrow's prompt is Helen of Troy. So um, I am trying a technique that I have already experimented with so far this Inktober and it went pretty well. So if you if you enjoyed uh, Aphrodite and Hera, you will enjoy this one too. All right, I will see you tomorrow when that one posts. Please subscribe if you haven't already then hit the bell button and you can get notifications that will say when new videos post which is every day every well morning my time but wherever you are in the world uh, it'll be more or less the same time every day all right i will see you tomorrow bye